Omaha, Nebraska, in the stalemated contract negotiations, President Joe Biden asked Congress on Monday to step in and prevent a train strike before the deadline of next month. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said lawmakers would take up legislation this week to implement the agreement the unions reached in September. In a statement, Biden stated, let me be clear, a rail shutdown would destroy our economy. Many U.S. industries would cease operations without freight rail. We are reluctant to bypass the regular ratification process for the tentative agreement, but we must move to prevent a catastrophic statewide rail strike, which would grind our economy to a standstill, Pelosi said in a statement. Numerous business organizations have been pleading with Congress and the president to intervene in the impasse contract negotiations and stop a strike. While contract negotiations are ongoing, both the railways and the unions have lobbied Congress. If Congress takes action, it will put a stop to negotiations between the railways and the four rail unions who turned down the agreements Biden helped them negotiate before the initial strike deadline in September. Eight additional unions have accepted their five-year agreements with the railroads and are working to reimburse their members for the 24% raises that take effect in 2020. As a proud pro-labor president, Biden stated that he was hesitant to ignore the opinions of those who opposed the accord. But in this instance, where a shutdown would have a negative economic impact on millions of additional workers and families, I think Congress should utilize its authority to approve this agreement. A short-term strike would have a significant impact, according to industry organizations represented by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, National Association of Manufacturers, and National Retail Federation, and the economic pain would start to be felt even before the strike deadline of December 9. In order to prevent these products from becoming stranded somewhere along the rails, they stated that the railroads would halt transporting hazardous chemicals, fertilizers, and perishable goods up to one week prior. Similar firms urged Biden to get more involved in settling the contract dispute in a different letter they gave him last month. The Association of American Railroads, a business organization, hailed Biden's decision on Monday. Our customers, rail personnel, and the American economy do not gain from a rail work stoppage, stated AAR President and CEO Ian Jeffries. Congress should act now to enact legislation to carry out the agreements that eight out of the 12 unions have already approved. Business organizations that have urged Congress to resolve this contract dispute applauded Biden's action. Before Biden made his announcement, Clark Ballou, a spokesperson for the Brotherhood of Maintenance of Way Employees Division, the union that represents track maintenance employees, said the group was going to D.C. this week to speak with senators on the Hill from both parties. For several weeks, we have been telling our people to get in touch with their House and Senate representatives.